hello students welcome to my channel uh, in this video we are going to discuss example 1.3 uh, from chapter number 1 introduction and the first law of thermodynamics from the book applied thermodynamics by T. Stop and McConkey the statement of the problem example 1.3 is in a certain steam plant the turbine develops 1000 kilowatt the heat supplied to the steam in the boiler is 2800 kilojoule per kilogram the heat rejected by the steam to the cooling water in the condenser is 2100 kilojoule per kilogram and the feed pump work required to pump the condensate back into the boiler is 5 kilowatt calculate the steam flow rate so first of all if we look to the statement of the problem we will see that few information are given first of all the turbine develops the work which is 1000 kilowatt so this is the work output the power output from the system we can also write negative sign m or minus sign with this similarly the heat supplied to the steam in the boiler is that is qn and it is 2800 kilojoule per kilogram and the heat rejected in the condenser that is heat rejection it is 2100 kilojoule per kilogram this value is input to the system it will be considered as positive and this is output from the system so it will be negative so it becomes minus 2100 kilojoule per kilogram similarly the power input to the pump it is 5 kilowatt so we can uh, uh, write it like w dot w dot is for power so th this is the power developed or power of the turbine and this is the power required for the pump and it is 5 kilowatt now simply we have to find the steam flow rate for this setup so required is the steam flow rate this is basically the mass flow rate of the steam and this is the data so coming to the solution of the problem steam power plant consists of four main components which is described in this statement as well we have boiler and we supply heat to the water to convert water from liquid to steam similarly this steam comes out from the boiler and here it expands in the turbine and it produces some power the steam from uh, the exit of the turbine then goes to the condenser where it heat rejects Q out and after that this water comes to the condensate tank that's why this cycle is repeated and the work input to the system is the feed pump this is the power required 
and it is W I N W dot I N. Simply W is used for work, and W dot is the work done per unit time. W by T. The unit of simple work is joule, while the unit of power is joule per second. and joule per second is called simply watt so <clears throat> that's why we are talking here in terms of heat transfer or power of the system so now coming to the solution of this we have two types of heats so summation of all heats in the system that is 2800 it is positive minus 2100 so the net heat in the cycle is 700 kJ per kg if we are talking about the heat transfer then we will say that the net heat transfer of the cycle is 700 times m or mass flow rate this is basically m dot mass flow rate so in kilowatt this is in kilojoule per kilogram and it becomes kilowatt when we multiply mass flow rate with the net heat of the cycle similarly the net power of the cycle is 5 is positive minus 1000 this is the output from the system as discussed in the data so it comes out minus 995 kilowatt this is the net power of the cycle basically uh, in chapter number 8 it is regarding the steam cycle the steam power plant operates on rankine cycle so coming down to the solution we can write the net heat of the cycle plus the net power output or input are simply the net power of the cycle is equal to it must be zero so it, uh, this is uh, about the conservation of energy and the conservation of power simply so we can write it like this the summation of all heat transfers plus the summation of all powers in the cycle is equal to zero so this is 700 m dot 700 times m dot is expressed in this section simply the net power in the cycle is minus 995 kilowatt is equal to zero so when we rearrange this we get m dot is equal to 995 divided by 700 so it is 1.421 kg per second the unit of mass flow rate is kg per second so the steam mass flow rate required for this steam power plant is simply 1. 421 kg per second so this is the overall solution of example 1.3 in next video we will discuss example 1.4 thank you thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos